Hey guys, I've been working for the last couple of days to get this mural on the sidewalls that you wall run on inside of the Pack-A-Punch. Like a clear image of it and I finally got it worked out and it's got some pretty cool stuff on it. This thing is almost impossible to see just because of the way that it's designed and yeah, I was just really curious as to know like what is on this whole image. Here's the full image looking at it straight on. It's still really difficult to see so I did some enhancements in Photoshop and was able to bring out the detail quite a bit and this is just black and white with some shading so you can see a lot of depth and start to make out the different characters that are on it. Then from there I added color to it and that just really brought this thing to life. There's stuff on here that would be so hard to see without this like extreme enhancement and then putting the color on it. I had a blast though just like coloring this thing in and like seeing all the stuff come to life. I'm like oh my god look at this monster. Oh my god there's parasites up there. But yeah let's talk about what's going on here. This is obviously a battle scene. You can see the good on the left and the evil on the right. That huge tentacle monster on the right is so cool looking and you can see how big it is in comparison to the margua and obviously there's parasites up at the top and you can see like water at the bottom and those are supposed to be zombies I'm guessing but they look like really demonic. Seeing that big tentacle monster makes me think about Zetsubonoshima and the wall murals down by the skull of Nansapwa. You see like the island and then you see like these tentacles coming up around the sides and then the mural on the right is showing like these giant tentacles coming at that keeper and then of course there is the distant monster easter egg where you see like this huge thing in the water like go across the screen on round 50. So I'm wondering if this giant tentacle monster is being referenced in Zetsubonoshima in the murals and is this the distant monster like that we see out in the water? On the left side of the mural, kind of in the center, I'll zoom in right here and light it up. You can see Nikolai, Richtofen, Takio, and Dempsey. They're all holding the staffs, and they do have the Order of the Keepers symbol on their chest. And the staffs that they're holding do match up with the staffs that these statues are holding at the bottom of the excavation on Origins. So like Richtofen is holding the Wind Staff, and Takio the Ice Staff, and so on. And of course all that's matching up with the premise image that we see from Origins. And also it's cool because the border on that picture does match this mural border. So it's probably pretty safe to say that Treyarch is trying to tell more of the story of Premise through this new mural on Shadows of Evil. Another place we hear about Premise on Shadows of Evil is in the boxing gym. There's a cipher behind a picture and when decoded it says although they have discovered the way, Premise will fail. I'm not sure if this can relate to the mural but I just wanted to remind you guys of it just to show you all the information that we have up until this point about Premise. So it's pretty interesting to see who all is fighting along with Premise. You can see Templar our knights. There's three of them, one in the front and then two guys on horses in the back. Obviously we've seen Templar knights in zombie form on Origins, but these guys are human. If you look at the top left, and I'll light it up right here, you can see three keepers and one of them is holding the keeper's sword. So you've got Premise being helped by the Templar knights and also the keepers to fight against the Cthulhu monsters and the weird demon zombie looking guys. And that's all fascinating and everything, but when I was looking closer, if you look up at the top left. I'm like, what is that? Everything on here is recognizable except for that structure. We've never seen anything like that. We've seen something like that and that's the top part of it. And I'll show you guys that in just a second. Anything they put on this mural is going to be important and have some kind of significance based on what's going on here. And this definitely looks like some type of pyramid in the distance, like it's a large structure in the background. On the top it has four large curved structures and it's on like the four corners of the pyramid. And and Slick had pointed out to me that these look a lot like the curved structures that hold the element 115 on Origins when you go up to Excavation by Pack-a-Punch. So this could definitely be some type of temple and there could be element 115 stones on top of it. If you take a closer look at this structure, it definitely looks like it has four sides, does appear to be shaped like a pyramid, looks like there's steps going up the front of it right there, and it definitely matches like the Mayan style of pyramids. And is this something we're going to see in DLC 4? DLC 3 is going to be Stalingrad Russia. We know that, but we have not yet seen this type of building, so maybe this is a clue. Maybe we will get to see it. One other thing I wanted to point out is that we got this notebook page from Shadows of Evil that had coordinates on each of the four corners, and it showed us all the new locations of all the new DLC. But there's no coordinate for DLC 4, but if you go back to the teaser trailer way back when for Black Ops 3, 
you see coordinates inside of these like numbers that are all over the screen. When you slow it down and pause it, you can see the numbers 115 and it's next to a coordinate that actually goes to Cairo, Egypt. You also see the beast mode symbol for just a second. You might say, well, Cairo, Egypt was a part of the campaign mode, but element 115 is not a part of campaign. So it could just be a coincidence that these showed up on the screen together. Or yeah, it's just talking about campaign and we're not ever going to see Cairo, Egypt for a zombies map. But let me know what you guys think about this. I'm really interested to see like ideas that you guys have and what you think about the mural itself. I also wanted to remind you guys that I have a limited edition, the giant t-shirt available for the next two weeks. And then after that, we're not going to have it anymore. It does come with a bunch of goodies, but I'll have that link down in the description. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you next video.